In your health news tonight, we hear a lot about the dangers of sexual predators contacting children online. But new research reveals kids' own friends are sexually harassing them over the Internet. About a quarter of 12 to 16-year-olds in the study say they were pressured by friends while online to talk about sex when they didn't want to. Girls and kids with low self-esteem were more likely to be sexually harassed by their peers. And using parental filtering software or keeping computers out of teens' rooms did not eliminate the problem. And there could be a link between breast implants and cancer. Haley Hernandez explains how a certain type of lymphoma can develop in the scar tissue around the implant. Like many breast cancer survivors, Raylene Holra tried moving on with a positive attitude and new body. You can just call me Ray because God's light is shining through me. But in a shocking twist of fate, the new breast implants she got during reconstruction turned out to be the cause of her second battle with breast cancer. I got the news that I was diagnosed with anaplastic large cell lymphoma. I heard the word cancer again, um, second time by the age of 40. She came to Dr. Mark Clemens, an expert on this rare cancer linked to breast implants. So this phenomenon that we're seeing, it seems in some patients to develop in the capsule or the scar tissue around the breast implant. The problem is there's not a lot of women to study, so they don't have a good idea of who's at risk, and women don't know to be looking for it. Usually happening years after they received their breast implant. It was a late on onset swelling, but it was a drastic late onset swelling that occurred about in a four day period. This mother of two has now overcome breast cancer twice and spends her time educating others, including her daughter. You can't be scared to go to the mm -hmm. doctor. Like I can be a face for other young women out there that maybe um, reconstruction, there's another option of not doing anything. There are things that you can wear. I struggle, but my husband always says, Raylene, the only thing I see missing is cancer. Clemens put the numbers of this cancer into perspective. He said 10 to 15 million women worldwide have breast implants. There have only been 150 cases of this particular lymphoma, ALCL. And still to come, we'll have another look at your evening weather planner. Stay with us.